Susan Flores is home in Arroyo Grande has been a place of interest for more than 20 years now, but as KSBY's Melissa Newman reports, it's not actually the first home investigators searched. She joins us live now in Arroyo Grande with a timeline of those searches. Melissa. Richard, investigators actually searched Ruben Flores or Paul Flores' dad's house in 1996. It wouldn't be until about eight months later that they searched this house for the first time. I'm surprised that um, every single day I faced that house. I had no idea. Neighbors in shock Wednesday over the search of Susan Flores' home in Arroyo Grande. But this isn't the first time the home has been searched or even the second. Authorities first searched the Brand Street house on March 3rd, 1997. This search reportedly came at the request of James Murphy, the attorney who represents Kristen's parents, Stan and Denise Smart. The next search would happen three years later on June 19th, 2000. In this search, sheriff's deputies used used a ground penetrating radar system to get electromagnetic pictures of where objects may be buried. Then seven years would go by when on May 22nd, 2007, a private construction company dug behind the Flores home as part of discovery for a civil case arranged by the Smarts family attorney. Wednesday search is reportedly the first time investigators have searched the Flores home in close to 13 years. It's still unclear at this time what was taken from the home. Susan Flores so far says no comment. How are you? Can we talk to you really quick? No, there's nothing to talk about, but thanks a lot. Neighbors in the meantime say cars have been packing their street and honking their horns as they drive by the home. I hope they can figure it out too, just to bring peace back to the neighborhood, that nobody's honking their horns as they drive by, that, that actually it's, it's been taken care of, and, uh, and we know what happened those 20 years ago. Now we asked the San Luis Obispo County Courthouse for a copy of that original search warrant from 1997, and they say so far all of the documents from this case are still sealed. Reporting live in Arroyo Grande, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, thank you. We looked into reports that cadaver dogs have actually searched the backyard of the Flores' home back in 2014, but we were unable to confirm if those were true.